April 15, 2018, Karachi. Sabin Jan, I want to share the Amal Taas ki kahani with you. Some of your colleagues had said to me that it was difficult for them to pass by the spot where we lost you and they had to take a roundabout route to T2F. Those conversations stayed with me. Also, Uzair had said to me once that he wanted to plant a tree for you. I was thinking that we must not avoid that spot out of a sense of fear, failure or defeat. We should be able to pass by there and feel your strength and beauty. We must change the fear narrative for you and for us. So I began planning, got in touch with Uzair and Sakina Khala and Pasha. I knew right away that I wanted it to be the indigenous, brilliant, vivid, fiery Amaltas. Anything else wouldn't work for you, would it? I wanted to do this right, Sabine, get permission and all that. You know how bullheaded I am about these things. Pakistan is sab kuch chalta hai. Doesn't work for me. Marvi went with me to the DHA office armed with a formal request for permission to plant a tree on the grassy divider close to the traffic light where we had stopped that fateful night, where five ear-piercing gunshots shattered the glass on your side and changed our lives forever. You relocated to another dimension and I, oops, I digress. This is Amal Taski Kahani. What I wanted to tell you, just for laughs, was that the guy at the DHA office front desk, or should I say the robot at the desk, asked, How many days do you want to Oof! I just cracked up and burst out laughing. Marvi looked at me quizzically and couldn't get over my reaction for days. She got the quiet grey flagstone inscribed with your name, and it kind of just sits there in a silent tribute to you. Pasha brought the baby Amaltas to T2F, early in the morning on April 24th, 2016. I wanted Mamu to do the honors. I didn't think about measuring it that day. Wish I had, but there was too much going on. I told you hadn't I that you were 21 inches when you were born, that is 53.34 centimeters. You know, I'm guessing that maybe Amaltas was around the same, looking at the way it was growing. Anyway, I'd like to think so. So kya hua? On May 8, 2016, it was 62 centimeters tall. By June 5th, it was 88 centimeters. And on July 3rd, 2016, it had grown to one meter. It had grown another new offshoot branch, which measured eight centimeters that day. When I went back on August 21st, 2016, it had grown beyond my measuring tape. Soon it was way taller than me, just like you became way taller than me when you were still little. Ek aur baat. How fervently I'd wish that the horrendous billboard and jumbled electricity wires would somehow disappear by some miracle from the site where Amaltas lives with a few other trees. It took a while, but it happened. Interestingly, it was April 24th, 2017, that an article titled Karachi's Billboard Advertising Industry Collapses After SC Ruling was published in the Express Tribune. The Amaltas site is so much calmer and peaceful now, minus the billboard and wires. Today, your Amaltas stands proud and tall. This year, 2018, I wondered when Amaltas would blossom. To avoid disappointment, I kept telling myself, no, not yet, next year. I watched it shed its leaves after turning brown and it made me sad. But it is what it is, nature's cycle. And then this terrible, cruel month of April came along and I began to see many trees blossom and bloom and bring joy to my soul. But it certainly doesn't compare with the joy of seeing the first blossoms on Amaltas on April 12th. Sign of life and hope. I don't visit your grave anymore, beta, but Amaltas, always. It makes my heart skip a beat.